Boop, boop. Okay. So, this is kind of funny. So this is a regular um, tension jig frame thingy with a uh, tire. But I noticed, which makes sense, if you only need slight tension, you don't have to blow it up after you put it on there. You can just lay it on here. And see if the miner is long enough. Stick it on the frame. By putting it on as good as you can. It's kind of automatically stretched because um, well, because the tire will smoosh if you uh, put more tension on there. Now, of course, I should have started with the length. So you got kind of even tension. So normally you would start with the longer side. So this side, stretch this, stretch that, then do the other ones. In this case, I didn't do that, but. Kind of fun, pretty fast as well. Ooh. Ooh, purple, blue. Come on, you can change the white balance, you can. Apparently it cannot. So I'll put the frame somewhere safe. I only wanted to make one test panel and then I thought, well, I might as well make three so I need a two so I have one backup for one panel and I thought I might as well make four if I want to make two of the same the thing is I also have to change out the cutter again etc because I have to uh, CNC or just route something as well I would say my table is quite nicely seasoned, so it sticks. <laughs> Just with pens, I only have to add a slight mist, so it is working again. But if I want to have small details, it might be too much glue on the table. Thank you. 
Well, there's nothing to see. The color balance is ridiculous stupid. I changed some things. Because I wanted to use it as a webcam. And apparently it's still doing that. Yeah, color balance is okay again. line here but no, I'll just mm. always nice to do this part feels good looks good as well Get rid of this, get my frame, which is slightly stretched, well, more or less without wrinkles, that's actually... I've done this gazillion times on the channel, I believe, but then again, uh, and bit. garbage now so this doesn't have to look great yes it will look great some uh, nut time so you cut through the aluminium foil but since of course it is a a cut so really small the adhesive that is on the back side of the aluminium will clunk together again so removing the remaining stuff is quite hard using just a little bit of nut time makes it a lot easier so I'll just soak it into this, in the cut itself. And then I should be able to get the part that is sitting here. And uh, just do this. And there's nothing sticking, it's just smooth. So this method works really well. 
Boop, boop, boop. You can do it fast. You don't have to be afraid it will break. Boop. There we go. That's another foil done. Uh, I will use a roller, but I will use it on a glass plate without adhesive because otherwise <clears throat> you might, instead of flattening it out, uh, you might like here. There's, you see, this is a high spot. If you use a roller right now, you will create a fold. So this goes on my stack of other membranes. So I got four right now. Yeah, I should do one more just in case. Oh. Yeah, wait again, over and over, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. And the machine sounds really gritty and shitty, but I don't know what it is. But who cares, as long as it works. It might be uh, the motor drivers. The steppers or the ball screws. <laughs> Few things.